So after being briefed on the situation regarding Aida, Damon, and Code, Shikamaru has put out a call for Naruto and the entirety of Team 7, including Kowaki, to come to the Okage's office. Wow, going everyone, Sanjay Uchiha here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been having an awesome week so far. Um, I know the Monday blues <laughs> honestly must have hit you just like it hit me. Well, hopefully not. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Of course, as you can tell, we're hitting it off with a Boruto discussion to start off this week's set of videos. Hopefully it's not just one, hopefully, but it is what it is. But yeah, welcome to the channel, everyone. So we're heading into Boruto chapter 73, and chapter 72 really dealt with a lot of things, but one of the main things coming out of chapter 72 was that it does seem like Team 7, of course, Sarada Uchiha, Mitsuki, Boruto Uzumaki, and by extension, Kawaki will be... You know, things seem like you're gearing up for them to go on another mission. And I want to actually talk about this, you know, potential mission that'll be going on, even though it might just be the obvious. But yeah, of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, leave a like at least. And let's get into it. So, of course, Team 7 as a unit haven't had any spotlight like that since the fight against Boro. And, of course, more recently, we have had characters like Serada and Mitsuki you know, kind of vent their frustration in terms of their, you know, la well, yeah, in terms of their lack of participation in the recent events in the manga. And it seems like Kishimoto, quote-unquote, is gearing up to, you know, do something about that, kind of make a 180 on just the character utilization, or at least Team 7 as a unit. Now, as I said, Code... Damon and Ida, their situation has drastically changed, and Amado, who's on his way now to Konoha with Ida and Damon, has basically briefed Shikamaru that, yo, we'll be there in three to four days, but, you know, Ida and Damon, they're no longer with Code, this is the situation, X, Y, Z, and thinking about it, Shikamaru being Shikamaru, more than likely, he's going to pass this information on to Naruto, as well as Team 7, and this whole potential mission more like will surround actually having team 7 escort amado ida and damon to kanoa more than likely that that's the only natural that's like the natural progression of things the way i'm seeing it now you might be asking why well obviously shikamar might be thinking that code is still going to be targeting amado more than likely and of course having team 7 go there to actually guide and ensure their safe return to the village so that we can get to the bottom of what Amado's planning might be might take top priority for you know where Kanoa and by extension the other great nations actually go because they need more intel in terms of what to do next in the grand scheme of things and of course why not ensure <laughs> ensure <laughs> ensure your top source of intel safety with the you know your favorite um set of new generation naruto characters right so it is what it is now kind of breaking down this mission into different sections or in terms of from a character motivation standpoint or just from a character standpoint mm -hmm. um i think this makes the most sense to have team seven and kawaki you know the new team seven actually you know push forward and take this mission on um kawaki of course if we go back to this chapter and even the events, just the, the action of Amado giving Kawaki the karma without his consent, Kawaki is more than likely going to want to, you know, apply some pressure and, you know, really vote himself in to go on this mission with the rest of Team 7 so that he can talk with Amado up close and personal and maybe just to kind of get the get the lead in terms of intel before we even get back to Konoha because more than likely I'm expecting a model to tell Konoha the truth the truth but at the same time probably go about it in a roundabout way where probably Kawaki will get the entire set of details and probably some details will be withheld from Konoha maybe I mean he does say he did tell Aida and Damon that yo I'm gonna explain all of this in front of you and Shikamaru and so yeah, but, you know, it's a motto, still kind of sus. So I'm expecting that to be the case. And, of course, that should be a source of conflict going forward. Um, of course, when it comes down to Serata and Mitsuki, as I said, they haven't had the most involvement in the story for the longest while, like, as I said, since Boro, and they recently kind of vented their frustration. No, I think this would be the perfect opportunity. Um, given that on the surface level, it doesn't seem like this mission would potentially include anything crazy 
even though Code could attack with his, you know, Tentil's army, but I'm just saying, at the same time, given that the frustrations that Sarad and Miski have had have kind of surrounded their lack of being able to really help out Boruto in terms of his karma situation and Momoshiki and all that, and Boruto as a character now has gotten a bit of a bit of a reminder from Momoshiki. So Boruto's frustration right now is at an all-time high. And having Serata and Miski in the picture again to kind of play off the dynamic of Boruto's frustration, it would be the right time to have some inter, um, some internal conflict in the team. And of course, I think these characters, given that they haven't had the most involvement in the longest while, maybe getting this at this stage in the game, probably the best thing to make them shine is to shine through conflict with the persons they actually care about, in this case, Boruto. So there is definitely going to be that. Now, I did do a video some time ago regarding, you know, Sarada and Mitsuki versus Boroshiki. Now, I think to some degree, maybe Momoshiki's prophecy for Boruto might tie into a probably a subsection of the conflict that we could have between Sarada, Mitsuki, and Boruto, that internal team struggle. So that would be something to really look forward to. And of course, naturally, when it comes down to Aida, Damon, then Sarada, Mitsuki, Boruto, Kawaki, that's a prime opportunity for some interesting, you know, dialogue interactions. So that would be fun. I know persons really complain about the piercing and all of that since Kishimoto took over, but Honestly, when piercing is an issue, at least give me some fun character, you know, interactions. So I think that would be a nice reason to actually go forward with have and have Team 7 go on this mission. You know, Team 7 on the train with Aida and Damon on the way um, back to Kanoa. That, that should be interesting. So I, I love the, the idea behind that, even though it's not... It's not anything too complicated, let's be honest, but at the same time, I think it would be an interesting tidbit. Now, in my no time skip anytime soon video that I did recently, I kind of touched on the idea that um, a number of narrative threads are going to have to be explored before the time skip, hence why it's not going to happen anytime soon. And one of the points I made in that video is that, of course, Boruto is Code's target at the end of the day. And with this Tentails army now and how nonchalant um, Code is, I am expecting to have Team 7 along with Amado, Ida, Damon get into some kind of conflict with Code on their way back to Konoha. So that's definitely another thing to actually look out for, to actually spice up the mission and add some meat, add some weight to the mission as well. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And of course, maybe throughout the conflict, more of what Momoshiki prophesies for Boruto, we could probably start seeing some more breadcrumbs of what that could potentially entail because Momoshiki keeps emphasizing that, hey, it's going to be happening soon. It's rapidly approaching. So the combination of all these factors between you know having Sarada and Mitsuki there, having Boruto currently in a frustrated um, state of mind and that probably leading to internal conflict between them and between him and the rest of the team and probably by extension through that internal conflict we get to see Mitsuki and Sarada shine this late in the game manga wise in terms of their involvement and in terms of probably character progression or development more than likely as I said um in a few one thing a few probably like a month or two ago them venting their frustrations more recently kind of forms the foundation of what's going to push them for the time skip. So this potential mission is going to, you know, really build on that foundation through that potential conflict. So there's going to be that. So there's a lot of things that we could actually look forward to with the Team 7 actually going on this mission. Um, no matter how you slice and dice it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's something to definitely look out for. Um... As I said, chapter 72 was the first chapter for volume 19. So I'm expecting the rest of volume 19 to really set up the, 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 the whole this whole mission and you know volume 20 to really execute on whatever buildup that's going to really happen in terms of all these factors I've actually laid out. So it's going to be that. And you know, just to add on top of all of that, Kawanki being Kawaki being as strong as he is now, right? 
it's going to really play out as a very interesting dynamic as we're reading in terms of his dynamic with the rest of the team. Because remember, the last time we really saw Kowaki in relation to Team 7 as a unit, he was training with them and they were training and preparing for code and he himself didn't really see the sense. He didn't really think they'd be able to catch up to code's level in time, etc, etc. And of course, the whole thing was don't try to do everything yourself. So now that he's gotten this, you know, quote unquote, quick, but major power up, arguably making him the, you know, current top, well, the strongest person in the village, arguably, it's going to be interesting to see how that power affects his dynamic with the rest of the team, given the philosophies that they were trying to, you know, push towards him. Does he just, he just quickly forego that and just, yo, I'm the strongest now bitches <laughs> you know like something like that or does he you know continue along the lines of you know teamwork philosophy don't really have to do everything alone so there's a lot of little interesting tidbits that can be explored with team seven's um whole potential mission to escort ida and damon back to kanoa so yeah but anyway i've rambled on long enough um if we do if this is what we get for the coming chapter chapter 73 and beyond let me know your expectations um tell me if i'm making sense here of course naturally <laughs> and yeah let's just start a discussion in the comment section below but anyway sandra i hope you guys are having an awesome day and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.